but that one commenter commenting some truly inevitable bullshit like, but how does he know how to make beats for placements? Boom, 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 boom. So to that one guy, yeah, think before you talk shit. Now shut up, take this free kit and watch the video. I love you. I guess let's do something different today. Keep the light in the living room blue. I think I'd actually prefer red to be real with you. All right, can't mix anything without a beat. Oh yeah, actually, I dead ass forgot this was a mixing video. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. I already did like a bunch of mixing stuff here. We'll cover a bunch of concepts right now. This first one is equalization. And so basically, if I can t make you a better example, boom, 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 boom. The most eff effective way to do this if you're in FL Studio and you're kind of like more on the beginner side or, you know, on the side that doesn't really have like effects is just come to this EQ right here. Go to this preset right here and drag these to cut out frequencies on the low end and high end that you don't really need. Ah, see, you thought I was gonna forget. I told you I'd put it in the middle of the video. I had to finesse all of those chumps who thought they could get it if they only gave me 10 seconds of watch time. Thanks for the likes, Goofy. All right, so here are the winners. Shout out to you guys. DM me on IG to claim your prize. Back to the cookup. A slightly more advanced way to do that would be to come here, set these bands like this on steep eights or a steep six is probably good too whatever you think is comfortable and then do the same thing and then the reason that you would do it like that at a more advanced level is because with that you have control of the other bands still and you can you know clean up you know nasty frequencies that you don't really want or you can create telephone effects and then you know this has its own telephone preset as well which is a really good go-to which is basically what i did in pro q here that's equalization in a nutshell. And then the other thing I really wanna cover is basically just stereo imaging. So sound is really operates like on a 3D space or 4D space, whatever, however you wanna think about it. It's not like a flat plane, right? There's left, right, but there's also up, down, right? So that's basically what stereo imaging is in a nutshell. You kind of see how the melody definitely, it's a lot different than just this, right? If I put it completely in mono, you can see that it's straight down the middle. And then if I just take it back to normal, now you can see that it's a little bit more spread out through the headphones. And then if I made it completely 100% stereo separated, now it's bigger. Now there's pros and cons to doing all of that, but that's not really the point of this video. It's just teaching you how to like take advantage of these very super basic things. You don't need to know it all that deep, honestly. The tall chorus is my favorite chorus, VST, and it's free. It's really good. And then this is just one of those effects that goes into adding color and width to your melody. Delay is basically just echoing a signal within a certain amount of time and then it repeats that in like an interval. That is the whole point is to add more width, make it sound bigger. Adding another delay does more of that. Just, you know, bigger interval, you know, more wet signal, stuff like that. The presets are usually pretty good. I really just use presets. So that's no effects so far. Then we add all the effects we've talked about so far. And that's just beautiful. Reverb basically more or less does the same thing. The difference is that reverb will then bounce it off. It'll simulate the sound being bounced off of a wall, basically. And that's how you get all these different presets like cathedral. You'll tend to hear that a lot with reverbs because it's based off of trying to simulate that echo being bounced off of some some type of surface in some kind of venue amphitheaters and, and coliseums and shit like that from like the old times when they had like performances and stuff without like speakers that's the entire concept that this was based off of i'm being a nerd and i literally said i wasn't gonna be a nerd good job too <sighs> so then we add more reverb and this is just neo reverb another reverb vst that i really like so that's basically how i do my melodies every single time it'll be the same stack more or less and i'm taking advantage of the exact same order of stuff So 
I'm just just level I'm gonna just leveling this right now before I bring it in, even bring it into my mixer. And I'm just looking at the meter up here. Uh, maybe a little too much because I know I'm gonna clip it anyway in a second. You always want to mix into your clipper. I heard that from Jason Joshua, who's the guy that does like production and mixing for Bad Bunny, who's like one of the coldest guys on the planet. So he's a good guy to listen to. And he says one of the biggest problems is like people will do their entire mix, throw on the limiter of the clipper and it fucks up everything. So he was like, bro, why don't you just mix into your clipper? And like ever since I started doing that, it changed my life. Adding swing to your drums really makes them sound more groovy. Like hi-hats and open hats and shit like that, your accent snares, add some swing to them in this miscellaneous functions tab in your channel rack, channel settings. It's just that swing, that extra swing is everything. You could even do it with the 808 too, shit. So now I'm just bringing in perks and I'm still thinking about my gain staging. So accents, perks, flourishes, they're gonna have less level, less presence right and so lower volume is a way to think about it but really less presence is the best way to think about it you're just thinking what do you want to be most present in the mix and what do you want to be the least present in the mix if you can think about things in terms of that then all it takes is your ability to translate that using what you know in your DAW. that's the most important thing about mixing all the technicality does not fucking matter in the end it's just you're trying to alter perception through what you know about your digital audio workstation. If you understand that, you will get so much better at making music, it's not even funny. I'll drop the link to this pack below. It's literally $5, it's crazy. It's about to be crazy. It's about to be popping. I already know who I'm gonna send this to. I gotta go to the bathroom now, I'll be right back. Oh, God. Fuck. <sighs> ah. Turn this home into another melody. Is that possible? Mm -hmm. Hold up. So I usually go for like a three. Same thing with my kick. But since my kick is more of an accent in this beat, it'll be slightly lower. I'm not really looking at these numbers. Some more snares. And these are more accents. Just come here and go straight to the telephone EQ. So something that I actually do now is I'll treat like all my melodies as one melody and I'll treat all my drums as a layer. So speaking of which, let's just finish this up really quickly. I'll show you guys some like upper level signal flow things that I do. So I'll route all of these drums to this track. And then boom, that's our drum bus. Create a drum room reverb send using a preset that I have. Crazy. Now we're just gonna turn off our drum bus. Now we're just gonna mix our melody. So the last part of this mixing process for me is now I have like, now I think about it in two layers, a melody layer and a drum layer. So I take those two layers and I just level them together. So I'm only gonna play with the faders for the melody bus and for the drum bus.
cut me up. Mm. Don't never fuck me up. I'm the coldest nigga doing this shit, dog. Nike my check, dog. Yeah. Don't get caught in a wreck, dog. Mm. Yeah. Talking out your neck, dog. Mm. Yeah. That is basically how I really make a beat and mix it from start to finish. I really hope you got some gems from this. See you tomorrow. Shout out to the winners. Watch yesterday's video. I love you. Peace.